And the Oscar goes to... Bad Boys for Life? What? Okay, probably not. But with massive uncertainty surrounding the film industry, it's safe to say Hollywood's biggest night will look a lot different next year. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be answering the question, what if the Oscars happened with no new movies released? Face it, the pandemic has thrown a major wrench in film studios' plans to showcase their awards prospects. For the most part, box office numbers, though, are reflecting this fear. With worldwide theater shutdowns and industry fests in a state of flux, many would-be Oscar hopefuls may not see the light of day until next year. And while the Academy has altered eligibility to include movies without a theatrical run, who's to say they go the digital release route when there's way more money in box office receipts? So let's look at the existing crop of films that have been thrust upon us this year to see which would crack the main categories and just who makes the case for front runner. When the lion's hungry, he eats. Actor in a supporting role. Thanks to the Academy's tendency to include somewhat unconventional performances in their supporting categories, a Jim Carrey nomination actually seems possible thanks to his uproarious turn as the evil Dr. Robotnik in Sonic the Hedgehog. No, for real. What do I look like, an imbecile? Of course I want a latte. I love the way you make them! Joining the ballot would likely be the photographs like Keith Stanfield, a key ingredient to that film's emotional appeal, as well as Hollywood heavyweights Hugh Grant, a delightfully wormy P.I. in The Gentleman, and Antonio Banderas, the best part of the otherwise maligned Doolittle. Irony is me. Bill Nye, who brought his A-game in Hope Gap, would not only ran out the list, but have an edge over the competition. With a respected body of work, we see Nye getting the old career recognition win. I always somehow feel that I'm in the wrong. Actress in a supporting role. The Best Supporting Actress category often sees an emphasis on first-time nominees over Oscar mainstays. Luckily, we've already received some worthy performances that fit the bill, including Sonia Braga's memorable showing in the genre-blurring Baccarat, Janina Gavinkar's stoic and affecting work in The Way Back, and Mia Goss' perfectly beautiful portrayal of Harriet Smith in Emma. You must come again tomorrow. Thank you, Miss Woodhouse. The final two spots would likely go to some acting veterans, Leslie Manville, who goes through a personal journey in Ordinary Love, and Hilary Swank, the sophisticated liberal badass in The Hunt. Paul, it was just a joke. And who knows, Swank's entertaining as all hell final boss portrayal may even be enough to land her the win. The Academy does love a good political role, even if it is a deranged one. Actor in a leading role. The Oscars are known to recognize fairly meaty performances in their leading categories, with many falling under the umbrella of true life depictions. Well, that makes Tom Hardy's rendering of infamous mobster Al Capone feel like a sure thing. As for other offerings, well, Harrison Ford's spot on John Thornton in The Call of the Wild would be hard to overlook. We're not here. Then there's Matthew McConaughey, who flex serious acting muscles, even with his shirt on, in The Gentleman. And with the big show always in need of star power, why not include Will Smith, whose return to the Bad Boys franchise was a rousing one? Uh, I'm standing right here, Cap. But alas, Oscar fave Ben Affleck would no doubt have this category wrapped up, thanks to his ultra-personal showcase in The Way Back. And well, there's also the fact that he's won every Oscar he's been nominated for. So, you know. Yeah. Actress in a leading role. With more than a few inspired showings to date from Hollywood's top ladies, the leading actress category actually stands to be the most stacked. There's no denying Anya Taylor-Joy wonderfully captured the spirit of the classic titular character in Emma. <laughs> and while not a runaway box office smash, Birds of Prey did prove once more that Margot Robbie makes for a beautifully unhinged Harley Quinn. Julia Garner also nailed it with her subtle approach in the Harvey Weinstein-influenced The Assistant, and Amy Ryan's portrayal of a woman in search of her missing daughter in Netflix's Lost Girls is just the thing voters tend to gravitate to. But perhaps the most powerful performance thus far comes from Elizabeth Moss, who runs the gamut of emotions, and then some, in The Invisible Man. We see you, Elizabeth. Surprise. 
Best Pitcher. And now for the biggest prize of the night. Thanks to a rather confusing preferential balloting system that requires a skilled mathematician to explain, any number of films, up to 10, can fill out this category. With that said, we feel there are nine movies that would surely make the cut. There's the mainstream contenders, The Invisible Man and Birds of Prey. He's right. Business is business. The Indie Darlings, First Cow and Sorry We Missed You. The Emotional Dramas, The Way Back and The Photograph. The Timely Messengers, The Assistant and Never, Rarely, Sometimes, Always. And last but not least, the one true Oscar bait movie to hit screens thus far, and likely Victor, Emma. Our companions are excessively stupid. So, best to prep your bonnets, everyone. The show. Let's get right into it. Of course, the Academy Awards were held last night here in Hollywood. The Oscars are more than just about awards, of course. A television event, the show serves as a glitzy affair featuring some of the biggest names in Hollywood. The give or take for our telecast is also chock full of memorable moments that have everyone talking the next day. So just how will this ever-changing pandemic landscape affect this year's occasion? Well, for one, a red carpet seems out of the question. Sure, the celebrities will still get plenty of pictures taken in their designer outfits and Chanel face masks, but the notoriously crowded back and forth between press and celebrity is a physical distancing nightmare. Sorry, Seacrest. Not this year. The funny, uh, the interesting thing is actually, it's actually made by South Korea. No, 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 sorry. sorry, sorry. You've got Kim Jong. Hey, you've, got, you've got Kim Jong, Elon. As for inside the Dolby Theater, we're thinking the seating will be fairly staggered. This is a strategy movie theaters are likely to adopt when they reopen, so why not have cinema's biggest stars follow suit? This means less audience members, however, so no seat fillers needed just the necessary faces. Joint presenters might also be a thing of the past, unless of course they make them stand six feet apart. Yeah, just what we need, ways to make award show banter even more awkward. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. The host. Who will host? We know the Academy Awards has been hostless for the past two years, but if there was ever a time to see a master of ceremonies return to the proceedings, it's now. Well, if producers are looking to inject some good news into the program, then may we suggest John Krasinski. The affable actor would surely bring as many smiles to faces as he has through his inspiring internet show. Or maybe viewers will respond to the steady hand of host past the likes of Billy Crystal, Jimmy Kimmel, or Ellen DeGeneres, who, let's not forget, skillfully emceed the 2001 Emmys mere weeks after the events of 9-11. But for this auspicious occasion, there may not be anyone more suited for the night's hosting duties than Tom Hanks. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Let's see. Hanks was the first big celeb to get the virus. He's a beloved actor, and well, he's Tom Hanks. Okay, this is a no-brainer. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. 